the inclusivity level of persons with disabilities in the 2023 general elections has been put at 25 percent founder and ceo of a non-governmental organization on disability matters cedar seed foundation mrs lois alta stated this in an interview with newsmen stressing the need for the huge gap to be bridged before the next election Mrs. Loy spoke to newsmen on the 8th of August in Abuja during the presentation of a report on Nigeria's 2023 general elections prepared by the foundation. Here is the report. The founder and CEO of Cedar Seed Foundation, Mrs. Lois Alta, outlined inadequate awareness creation by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, training of electoral staff as well as lack of collaboration among organizations of persons with disabilities, ad hoc staff and others as major factors responsible for the below expected inclusive outing of persons with disabilities in the 2023 elections. I can manage to give INEC 25% participation of persons with disabilities during the 2023 elections because most of the polling units there were not tactile ballot papers there were not sign language interpreters the ECH 44 that was supposed to be given to voters with disabilities after casting their votes most of the ad hoc staff didn't even know or they are not aware of the form and the reason for the form was to get the number of voters with disabilities in the 2023 elections so that it will inform their future plans for voters with disabilities. But the objective was not gotten. She believes a deep study of the released report by INEC and other stakeholders alongside implementation of its recommendations is panacea to improved outing for the disability community in coming elections. We want them to ensure total and complete inclusivity of voters with disabilities. We want them to ensure that Voters with disabilities are catered for. Materials are given to them. Tactile ballot papers are provided. Election materials are provided in an inclusive and accessible manner. Representatives of the Interparty Advisory Council of Nigeria, IPAC, U.S. Embassy, League of Women Voters in Nigeria and Porter's Gallery Initiative all identified with challenges that have for long impeded participation of PWDs in elections and governance generally in Nigeria. All actors stated actions their individual organizations are taking to change for good outlook of all future elections. Very soon, all the nomination forms for persons with disability will be free of charge. We are pushing with the stakeholders. Within the National Assembly and all the political parties, we are working around the clock and it will come to pass. Before the 2027 election, from councillorship to president, it is an assurance from, the, from IPAC. The U.S. government as a whole um, promotes uh, inclusion of people with disabilities in every country, not just in Nigeria. So our hope is that we have two or three years until the next election, that it gives us plenty of time to have discussions with uh, organizations in Nigeria, for example, INEC, that conduct the elections, uh, to talk about this issue specifically and you know, issues in general and provide the technical expertise. I think our advocacy should just center on the fact that every political party should have a disability dex or should have a disability wing just like in every political party you have women wing you have youth wing and at the end of the day it is the political parties that form government as nigeria looks towards next elections the launched report of the 2023 election which is an assessment of participation of pwds stakeholders say should serve as guide for authorities Rosemary Ukokotega, ASO Television News.